Hi, I'm going to show you how to do some marbling today. First thing we're going to look at is setup of your equipment. Feel free to pause this screen. First thing you want to do is skim the water to get rid of any bits of dust or anything. Allow your water to settle if you want neat concentric circles. Next you're going to dip your brushes, one in your soapy water, carefully wiping all excess off so it doesn't drip at all. And then one for your black ink. Sumi ink is the best kind of ink to use. And then you're going to start very carefully dipping just the point into the water, into the surface of your water. And then doing the same with your white or your soapy water brush. And then keep repeating backwards and forwards until you can start to sing the, see the rings forming on the surface of your water. By applying different amounts of ink to your brush you'll get different effects, heavier rings. And then you just keep building up the circles for quite a long time sometimes, depending how many circles you want, how dark your image. And then carefully place your paper down onto the surface. What I tend to do is then push it under the surface of the water because the cartridge paper tends to need to be rinsed off the excess ink that hasn't quite stuck. And then I tend to give it a blot with the paper towel as well just to get any excess ink off still. The next um, print I'm going to take is onto Japanese paper, but this time I haven't let the water settle after taking the last print. So the ink's moving around a lot more, which creates a different kind of effect. So for this one I'm going to use a bit of Japanese paper from the Awagami factory paper makers. I just happen to have their sample pack. As you can see, you get a much darker print from the Japanese paper compared with the cartridge paper of the last print. For the last um, print I'm going to do, I'm going to skim the surface again just to take off some of that excess ink. And it's going to be a much more random pattern I'm going to make. Just tapping the brush against my finger and just pushing the ink around with the other brush. The last two prints, one is on handmade paper and the other is rice paper which I've already taken a print onto which wasn't very good so I'm just reusing that. Once it was dry you can do that. As you can see both of them are very absorbent and much more delicate handle when they're wet. But as you can see not much excess ink on these ones. And I think they work just as well as the Japanese paper due to their absorbency.